Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all having a good day today. I'm here to do a very exciting hot sauce review. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to this one today or not, but um, I just got the ingredients list in time for this one, which is no problem. I could have easily done a different review today, but this one's really exciting to me because my mother made this hot sauce, just kind of like that honey habanero one that we did, and maybe even lime in that, I forget to be honest. But this one is roasted jalapeno hot sauce. Get it to focus on the label there. Almost, not quite. You have to put the phone down and use the other hand to help it focus. There we go. I mean, it's just the words, but I'd like to show you the label. Roasted jalapeno hot sauce made by my mother. Um, this was actually a part of our Christmas gift. She gave us a whole bunch of delicious baked goods. There was cookies and biscotti and squares and um, what do you call it? Like caramel popcorn? Like car um, I think that's what you call it. Caramel corn? Yeah, caramel corn. Oh, it was all so good. And this is the last thing. We haven't even tried this yet. I haven't even opened it up. Uh, there isn't a seal on this because it was just bottled at home by my mother. But I'm so stoked. Till <laughs> Maggie's stoked too. So stoked to try this one out and to give you an honest review of it and to give her an honest review of it as well because... <laughs> oh, jeez. Somebody's being funny. <laughs> um... Yeah, I always give you honest reviews, and, you know, my, my mother, I'm sure, would hope for nothing less than that. Um, so, actually, before we get going, I want to wish a couple of people happy birthdays today. Nick W. in New York, happy birthday to you, buddy. And also, Matthew G. in Colorado, happy birthday to you, Matthew G. Happy b birthday to both of you. Happy birthday to anyone that's having a birthday today. And happy birthday to all of the unbirthdays today, as Debbie Bartram would say. I really like that term. It's funny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one. Include everybody, right? You don't have to have a birthday to have a good day today. Hope you all have a happy day today. And mom, I hope you have an awesome day. I love you very much. It was so nice to talk to you on the phone yesterday for a few minutes. And, uh, and to, to read an email from you this morning as well. That's awesome. It's always so nice to chat with my mom. I love my mom very much. Um, and Lady Shorts loves you very much, too. We lo all love you so much, and so does Maggie. So, um, let's get into this. It's relatively warm out here. It's three degrees Celsius out here, which is, I actually Googled it. I'm gonna, oh, jeez, I lost it. I had it. 37.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That .4 is very important. You feel that .4. <laughs> so, um, oh, before I open this up, actually, before I put the phone away as well, I want to read you and you, I want to read you the ingredients. I had trouble with that sentence. Um, my mother emailed me the ingredients list. I wanted to make sure it was okay with her before I review one of her sauces on the channel. And, of course, before I give out the recipe, which I didn't have, she emailed me the recipe this morning at, like, 7.30 in the morning. That's super awesome of her. Um... And like I say, I, like I said at the beginning, I could have easily just... I, I had another hot sauce even lined up. I was just going to review a different one. But then last minute... Not even last minute. It's like 9.30 now. It's almost probably 10 o'clock. But she emailed me that ingredients list and she said, feel free to share that recipe if anybody wants the recipe for this. Because you can't buy this hot sauce. This is made by my mother. So you can't buy this on any shelf. But I can give you the recipe and I will read you the ingredients here. The ingredients are roasted jalapenos, garlic, onion, salt, vegetable oil, water, vinegar, lime juice, and honey. Very simple list of ingredients. Sounds very delicious. I'm really stoked to try this out. So we will give this a good shake before we open it up. Make sure we get all those delicious natural ingredients mixed up. And I think nice thing about the sauce too is that there's nothing super hot or exotic or hard to find in this hot sauce. Anybody can go to the grocery store and find all of those ingredients and make this sauce at home. So, let's open it up. Oh yeah, you smell that jalapeno. I'd actually like to keep that ingredients list up so I can... Jalapenos, garlic, onion, salt, you're not going to smell <laughs> the vegetable oil or the water, probably. Vinegar, lime juice, honey. Wow. 
roasted jalapenos. Okay. Uh-oh. I hear friends out front. Hey, Maggie, why don't you come here? Maggie. We might have to do a Maggie hangout now. Keep her distracted so she doesn't bark at the neighbors. Because she will. Hey, Maggie. Yeah. She likes to talk to everybody that walks by to try to get them to come pet her. Yeah. Oh, wow, you are shedding. You are shedding, Maggie. Wow. Yes. What a pretty doggy. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where the voices have gone, but they seem to have quieted down now or moved along. So, <laughs> get my spoon out. I should have got the spoon out before I took the cap off. But that's okay. I can do this with one hand. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Give this another little shape. You can see there are some pieces in the bottleneck there. Give it a few of these. There we go. There we go. All mixed up nicely in there. Let's give it a pour. Actually, let's talk about the color. It's got a really nice orange red color. It almost looks like it has carrot in it. It has that kind of a kind of a pasty orange color to it. But I guess that's just red jalapenos and the garlic and onion and I don't imagine the honey is adding too much to that color. Yeah. I imagine this is going to be a fairly straight up sauce because there are some some nice herbs and spices going on in there. Oh, I see a Maggie here. Is there a Maggie here? There we go. <laughs> Stuck to the spoon. Let's give it a pour. There we go. Point the label out at ya. Nice consistency. Nicely pureed. I do see some seeds in there, but it's got a really nice... Yeah, look at that. Really nice consistency on this. I like that. It's almost, it's like the consistency of ketchup, but a nice orange color and definitely not ketchup. So roasted jalapeno hot sauce made by my mother. Heat my shorts. Mmm. A little bit of a kick to it. Really nice sweetness. The garlic and the onion come through really nicely on this. It is, I would say it's pepper forward with jalapeno, <laughs> had trouble with that one, jalapeno. Yeah, really nice pepper flavor in there. And the garlic and onion goes really nicely with it. It's got a really nice sweetness from the honey and the vinegar, I'm guessing. And probably the onion as well adds a sweetness to it. Sunglasses are starting to fog up. It does have a little bit of a sting to it. Mmm. I thought I'd put that on silent. Yum. I like that. Really nicely balanced sauce. I say this this kind of a sauce. Actually, first let's talk about the heat before we talk about the, the parrots. <laughs> um, my heat, it does move my needle. Uh, you can't really see it. The glasses are fogged up. <laughs> um, it moves my needle. I can feel it on the tip of my tongue. And that's about it for me. I'd give it a 1 out of 10 on my heat scale. Average chili head would find it to be anywhere between a... Yeah, 2 or 3 out of 10. Somewhere in there. Maybe a, maybe a 4 out of 10. Maybe. But that's kind of pushing it. Um, Somebody that's sensitive to spicy foods, they could call this... A 5 or a 6 out of 10. Maybe if you're really sensitive or new to spicy foods... 
it's not as hot as a jalapeno so there's there's that advantage to it because it's I mean advantage if you're sensitive to spice I should say because you're adding all those other ingredients to the jalapeno and then you're putting it on a meal well unless you're eating it with a spoon like this but let's be really good let's talk about the parrots let's talk about what I would pair it with <laughs> should I stop putting the bottle on my shoulder when I do that or no I'm not gonna stop I'll stop when I get tired of it <laughs> um roasted veggies come to mind stir fries breakfasts eggs yeah eggs for breakfast all sorts of soups um but yeah steamed veggies and stir fries I think mostly magpies are making some weird noises in the tree there um yeah mostly roasted veggies I think what else Thai food to be good on Thai food I think would I restock on this I mean yeah if I could buy it <laughs> but luckily I do have the recipe so and all those ingredients are really easy to find I'm getting a little bit of a lip sting too now little tiny tiny bit of a tickle on my lips which is neat I like that um, would I recommend this yeah yeah I really recommend this for almost anybody it's not going to hurt you with spice it's got great flavor um, I think it's pretty pretty versatile but it's definitely not a dessert sauce um, if you added more vinegar to it it would be a great salad dressing and you could use it as a salad dressing as it is but it's a little bit thick for that unless that's what you're at, unless that is what you're after grilled cheese sandwich yeah this would probably be really good on a grilled cheese sandwich or just dabbed on a grilled cheese sandwich or in tomato soup yeah vegetable soup tomato soup yeah totally I really like this mom this is really good I really like a, a jalapeno sauce did you use well I have to ask you I guess or, or you can leave it in the comment down below did you use all red jalapenos on this or is it a mix of green and reds I'm thinking that it's because they're, they're roasted hey they're roasted jalapenos but um, that made that turns them into chipotles essentially I guess but um yeah that usually has more of a brownish color because usually people use green jalapenos for that I think but I'm really curious if you used red jalapenos for this because I almost would have assumed that there was carrot in it or tomato or something like that because of the color but I like it and I, I, I recommend it so if you want the recipe for this um, leave a comment down below or email me at heatmyshorts at outlook.com uh, heat my shorts all one word no periods or anything in there and th that email address is always in the description box down below as well um, don't forget to like this video leave a comment down below share these videos if you feel like it make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already um, underneath the video you'll see the little bell icon beside the subscribe button hit that bell and then click all also you get all notifications maybe you'll get the notifications in YouTube when you go to the app other than that I share them on Facebook every time I make a video pretty much but yeah this is really good thank you very much mom thank you for gifting this to us thank you for allowing me to review it and thank you for giving me permission to share the recipe with everyone because that's pretty cool I think that's pretty awesome that you can make a delicious hot sauce like this just from store-bought materials ingredients nothing fancy you don't have to look for even habaneros can be hard to find sometimes but jalapenos pretty much always so thanks again mom I hope you have an awesome day today I can't find my spoon case that's okay I'll just put the spoon in my pocket <laughs> um yeah we kind of had a Maggie hangout already and she's been hanging out in the background the whole time too so I'm gonna wrap this video up here hope you all have an awesome day I love you all very much um I'm gonna do a heat my shorts logo in this corner and two relevant playlists up here for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I love you all. We will hang out again soon. I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Steve and Maggie. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye. <laughs>